This is a little territorial fight between a albino ancestress male and a and they are really going to town. I saw them start doing this a few minutes ago and uh, this is the dominant male ancestress and I believe that this brown one well I don't know what's happening it's definitely uh, you can see the spine shooting out uh, of the albino ancestress's uh, head gill plate area don't know what's going on but I thought that this was an interesting fish behavior for ancestress <laughs> brown has gone into that PVC pipe and is uh, not coming out but when the albino swims away the brown one comes out and carries the fight to him and he's not given up at all you can see those spines shooting out of the head of the albino ancestress and it's almost like he's I don't know what he's doing he's not getting the response that he wanted there whatever it is animal behaviors are not always understood by us humans and uh, this uh, behavior looks like it would be in injurious it might injure the brown ancestress it looks like it oh boy you can just see those spines shooting out of the side of the head of that male ancestress there wow what a fight or argument or territorial thing or just male beating up on female oh all right i'll back off just a little ways all right the brown ancestress is going up up see her up above I'm not sure if the fight or whatever was going on is over I'm just gonna put this up on my YouTube channel oh there he came stuck his head out and let's see I'll back off just a little bit okay I think that's a female coming back around. Oh, I'll back off just a little bit. She's up on that rock. Sometimes fish behavior. It's really great to have a camera real close by so I can catch some of this stuff going on. No real good explanation for it. Oh my. This is not that. She's getting ready to go inside of that castle where he. I think where he wants her to go. This is not your typical loving relationship. <laughs> oh. All right. She's over here on the bottom on the right hand side now. Sometimes when you're filming animal behaviors, it's nice when they just totally ignore the camera, as in the case of these two fish.
That's my female angelfish that's swimming into the camera camera view. Okay, that little brown ancestress is coming back. That castle that the albino ancestress male just swam into is the uh, uh, where the female ancestress lay their eggs, and he guards the eggs for uh, five or six days till they hatch, and then uh, I have been taking the babies away from him or the eggs sometimes, and then hatching them in a breeding net. Uh, this particular aquarium is uh, impossible for baby ancestors to survive because the angelfish would eat them as soon as they become free swimming. Their uh, protective spines do not protect them adequately and the angelfish uh, would just prey on them. They are capable of protecting their eggs very well. There's another little female ancestress off to the right there. The brown one is up in the upper left hand corner of the screen. And he's moving, the albino ancestress male is moving his uh, anal fins, I think, to try to attract females. And oh boy, oh boy. Well, I'm glad I got to film some of that very aggressive fighting at the beginning of this video. It's uh, calmed down quite a bit now, but uh, you never know when it's just going to start right back up again in earnest. As soon as I stop the film, it probably will. Well, it might. Something uh, might happen. But here's I've been filming for about eight minutes here, and they... Uh, appears to be uh, sexual in nature. Uh, this is not a territorial fight at all. There might be some brown and citrus eggs inside of that castle tomorrow morning when the lights come on. <laughs>